Several Windows users have reported receiving prompts like application error, the application was unable to start successfully 0xC00007B. Select OK to exit the program. This issue typically occurs when a user attempts to launch a program or game. If you click the OK button, the program will close, but you won't be any better off. In this video, we'll discuss the typical causes of this problem and the solutions that you can try to fix it. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, restart your computer. A computer restart is needed before attempting any of the options in this video. When you do this, the operating system is rebooted, which clears off any temporary files that might be corrupt and causing the problem, and restores normal operation. Next, install Windows updates. The newest Windows update should be installed on your machine, so make sure to look for it. Windows updates not only increase your computer's security but also correct bugs that may have been causing problems. Here's what you need to do. Press the Start menu. Click Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. Click Update and Security. At left pane, click Windows Updates. Click Check for updates at right pane. After the update, restart computer. Next, run the app as administrator. There are some programs that can't be run without admin access. If you don't have admin access, an error can happen when you try to run the program. To fix this, you may need to run the program that's giving you trouble as administrator. Right-click on the shortcut icon of the application that experiences the error. Select Properties from the drop-down menu. At Properties Windows, click Compatibility tab. Under Settings section on Compatibility tab, click the option Run this program as an administrator. Click Apply to apply changes made. Click OK to exit. Next, update .NET Framework. If you don't install .NET Framework correctly or if it's out of date, it can cause errors on your computer. Make sure that you update .NET Framework with these steps. Press Windows key plus R. Type Control Panel and press Enter or click OK. Make sure View by located at the upper right is set to large icons. Click Programs and Features. At left pane, Click the option Turn Windows Features on or off. A new window opens. On Windows Features window, click .NET Framework 3.5 and press OK. Windows will now start and check for available updates. Restart computer. Next, install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable again. Even though Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable is an important part of Windows applications, errors like this error that you're dealing with right now can still happen. Follow these steps to know what to do. Press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. At Run box, type Control Panel and press Enter or click OK. Make sure View by located at the upper right is set to Category. Under Programs, click and install a program. Locate all Microsoft Visual C++ runtime packages, right-click on each of them and click and install from the drop-down menu. After all Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable has been uninstalled, restart computer. Once computer completely reboots, go to Microsoft website to download and reinstall Microsoft Visual C runtime packages. Next, run check disk. At the command prompt, you might need to type check disk to check for problems on the computer's hard drive. This error can also happen if there are problems with the hard drive, which happens sometimes. Here's what you must do. Type command prompt at the search bar located at the lower left. Click run as administrator. The elevated command prompt, type chkdsk f divided by r command and press enter. A prompt message will appear asking the user the option to run the scan at a scheduled time the next time the system restarts. Click Y at elevated command prompt and press enter. When computer reboots, check disk will start running automatically to scan the hard drive on your computer. Wait for the process to complete. After check disk process is complete, Windows will then boot. Next, check the system files. If your computer has corrupt system files, errors and problems like this error can happen. You might need to check the system files and run DISM, which stands for Deployment Image Servicing and Management, to fix this. Type command prompt at the search bar located at the lower left. Right-click on command prompt result and click run as administrator from the drop-down menu. This will open an elevated command prompt window. At elevated command prompt, type the command is fc, scano and press enter. Checking system files process will now start. 
wait for the process to complete as it can take some time. After that, type these commands one after the other. After that, restart computer. Next, delete and reinstall the app with the error. If none of the aforementioned steps resolve the error, try uninstalling and reinstalling the program in question. Press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Type Control Panel and press Enter or click OK. Inside Control Panel window, make sure View by located at the upper right is set to large icons. Click Programs and Features. Locate the problematic application from the list of applications. Right-click on the application and click on Uninstall from the drop-down menu. Then, restart your computer. Go to the application's official website to reinstall the application. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.